a leading national entertainment firm that manages the likes of the current Paul McCartney and Cher tours has a new task, managing Jersey City's historic Lowe's Theater and local expectations. It's about time that this theater was self-sufficient and brought in its own money. The Jersey City Redevelopment Agency solicited theater management proposals and their board voted last night to select AEG Live. Mayor Stephen Fulop attributes this to the firm's national reach and consideration of community programming through local partnerships. You have two community organizations in MANA and then the university, NJCU, so they're going to be responsible for making sure that there is uh, community programming. Not everyone shares Phillips' belief in the new collaborative management team. The Friends of the Lowe's is a nonprofit organization consisting of two staff members and an army of volunteers. They saved the theater from demolition in 1993 and have worked over the last 19 years to restore it. The Friends see the pending change in programming as a detriment to the community. Well, a commercial arts center presents mostly popular concerts. Well, Mana Contemporary is an extraordinary company that's in the professional fine arts business. They'll bring some programming to the theater, but it's not going to be a range that meets our community's needs. For AEG Live, though, this is an opportunity to turn around a landmark. And th this is a long-term proposition for AEG Live. We are committed not only to establishing the Lowe's as a premier theater, but we're also committed to the, to the vision for Journal Square as a whole. According to Fulop, that commitment does include 30 days for community programming, 20 days for programming by the Friends of the Lowe's, and about 50 days for significant music and comedy bookings and other national acts. As for the Friends of the Lowe's... We did our best to include them. They didn't want to respond to the RFP, which makes it difficult. Um, you know, we're real thankful for what they did, but we think it's the responsible thing to go through a public process, and if you're going to put that type of money into something, you really need professionals to run it. That money will be an estimated 30 to $40 million paid by earmarked private money, tax credits, and public dollars. But some residents are more than willing to make the investment to bring big acts back to the city. And Stanley Fair, the Grateful Dead for a couple of nights, also the Dead at Roosevelt Stadium, you know, they were over there constantly. Uh, we had Janis Joplin over here, and I mean, it's a rock and roll city. The Friends of the Lowe's lost a suit against the city for breach of lease agreement and are working on an appeal. In the meantime, the Lowe's will undergo restoration this fall and is set to reopen under new management in late 2015. In Jersey City, I'm Maddie Orton for NJTV News.